Welcome back everybody. I'm back in my second home, the Brecon Beacons. And what I'm going to be talking about in this video and showing you is a bespoke course that was a request from a customer, okay? So what he wanted to cover was the basics of navigation and a bit of field craft. He's uh, previously attended a survival course that I run with my uh, sister company, First In Events. And basically he'd never really done any practical navigation. So what he asked for is to go out on the hills, cover the theory first, so things like grid references, how a map's made up, all the symbols, um, measuring distance, bearings, all that good stuff. And then to go out and do it practically out in the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out into the hills, cover some different kinds of terrain. So up the hills plus across some kind of difficult baby's heads type ground. And we're going to cover all those basics, but in a practical manner. And I'm going to kind of, you know, let them know some of the secrets, tips and hints that I've picked up over many years of actually using these skills in a practical manner. So we're also going to be staying overnight, camping out, and we're going through some practical field craft skills as well. So site selection for your camp, use of natural resources like collecting water, filtering the water, all that good stuff. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Might want to get this as low as you can to the ground. You could even peg that bump into the ground like that. Yeah, that's what So it's more like a lean to now. Yeah. Get something on the end of the cord, like a water bottle, throw it over a branch, so sure. you can elevate it maybe up there, yeah. or up there, and that'll give you some nice
Right then, so that's a weekend in the Brecon Beacons done. And what I did with Rob here is we did an introduction to navigation. So basic stuff like um, route selection, um, grid references, bearings, all that sort of good stuff. And we put it to practice. We did it in a practical manner as well. So we ran it on the hills for a couple of days. Um, and we also was living out in the field for a couple of days as well. So carrying on the gear that we need to live and survive in the field. Um, how do you think that went, Rob? Oh, it was absolutely fantastic, mate. I mean, um, we had two sets of weather. We had the first day was very hot, so it just showed the importance of bringing plenty of water. Um, you know, sort of a lighter clothes, obviously. Um, and then the second day is, uh, yeah, should we say more challenging um, with, you know, rain, a uh, bit of wind. So yeah, the, the cold was there, uh, and the importance of yeah having wet gear for that. Um, also the terrain, very different uh, terrains um, and we, we got to learn yeah a lot of, sorry I got to learn a lot of stuff about route selection, um, the terrain that looks okay on the map can actually be very treacherous at times uh, and sort of yeah hard going through marshlands, boglands, um, so yeah no no it's absolutely fantastic and stuff that I can take away and, and just keep learning on uh, in my own time really yeah. Awesome, Loved okay. it. mega. Cheers, Rob. No, Appreciate that. Um, well done this weekend. Oh, mate, absolutely. You've pleasure. been really good. You've, take, you've taken on all the lectures, all the information really, really well. And put it into practice in, a, in yeah. a great way. So you can only kind of go on from here. Yeah, exactly. You know, and we'll get out in the hills again and learn some more stuff. So well yeah. done. Thank you. Anybody out there wants to actually do any more of this sort of stuff, if, you, if your navigation isn't quite on point or you need to practice your navigation in a practical way, get in touch and we can see what we can do for you run a bespoke weekend for a group or individuals depending on what you want what your requirements and need are don't forget stay prepared <laughs>